Hi everybody and welcome to my channel again. Uh, it's good to see you. I am filming in my room. Hi. <laughs> and it's because we are talking about a packing video. I am answering a viewer question today and she asked, can the Skip Hop Forma backpack diaper bag be used as an overnight bag for a baby? And I thought instead of answering her directly, which I would normally do with questions, um, I decided it would make for a good video because to be honest, I wasn't sure. And we, this last week on, went on an overnight trip up to my in-laws and I decided to give it a try using the Skip Hop Forma backpack as the overnight bag for my 10 month old. And I am here to report it. <laughs> <laughs> so here it is. I've done two videos already on this backpack, um, but it is from Skip Hop. It is a their Skip Hop Forma backpack, diaper bag. Um, if you haven't seen those other videos, I will link them for you down below. One was like an unboxing-ish um, first impressions type video, and the second one was like a what's in my bag kind of video. So um, we're kind of doing the same thing of what's in my bag. I um, kept this packed up coming back from the trip and, and swapped a few things out so they weren't like dirty PJs, but um, I thought I would show you what I packed in here. Um, spoiler alert, I was really impressed with how much we could actually fit in this backpack. Um, I, I fit everything, everything in here with the exception of some food and I'll show you what I did with that. Um, but no, everything fit in here that we could possibly need. Um, I couldn't also then use it as my purse diaper bag. Um, so essentially this was like his little suitcase. Um, and, but it ended up working out great. So I'll show you what's in here. Um, and there's a lot, I cranked a lot in here. I'm really, really impressed with myself. Um, packing tip though, when it comes to kids, I, um, and even myself actually, I pack, um, the stuff that I'm going to need quickly. Um, and in this case with my kids, like bedtime related things, um, I try to pack those last so that they're on top so I can easily just grab them, pull them out. So that's what I have. Um, first, his little lovey bunny thing. Um, one of these like sleep sack, sleeping bag things for kids, the sleep blankets, I forget what they're called, but they zip up. One of those for him. And then a um, muslin blanket that I use actually not so much as a blanket, but I use it to hang over the edge of the pack and play so he can't see um, his sister <laughs> in the room with him because they share a room when we're out of town and my in-laws. So um, yeah, one of those blankets. And then I also have a sound machine with cord because my kids need sound machines when they're sleeping. So I have one of those packed in there. I have two pairs of PJs. Um, he slept in one and then the other one was like a spare in case his outfit that I packed for the second day got dirty in some way and he needed to travel home in something. So two pairs of PJs. PJs are my favorite like backup clothing because it's like long sleeve, pants, socks, all in one. So easy. Um, and then a, an outfit for the second day, a um, pair of pants and a onesie long sleeve shirt, a pair of socks, pretty easy for the little guy. And then I brought his little coat just in case we needed it. Didn't end up needing it, but just in case. Then um, that is that is the main compartment done, all done, all emptied out. And then inside the little um, bottle pouches inside the bag, I have three cloths and two bibs so there we go and then in the back where it's like the diaper pad pouch thingamajig I just have the diaper pad that diaper changing pad that the backpack came with so um, that is all in the main compartment and then um, I have in one of the bottle pockets a little um, plastic bag for dirty clothes um, didn't end up having anything in the other bottle pouch because it comes with two um, bottle pouches on the outside. I didn't end up packing anything in the other one, so that's okay. In the main front pouch, the bigger of the of the two, um, I have diapers and wipes. Now the diapers, these are for like the second day diapers. I had like the first day's diapers in my diaper bag, in my purse. Let's just call it purse, we're not confused. And then um, a pack of wipes. And then in the smaller of the pouches, I had a pair of shoes, which were totally unnecessary, but Still so cute and these belong to my husband so I figured since we were going to my in-laws it'd be cute to bring them and one more toy toys at a minimum folks when traveling especially when you're traveling to family because there's no need to bring everything there's just no need so William brought, had three toys his little lovey one in the car and then the backpack one in the backpack so that is it that is what I packed in here 
Um, and so then you may be wondering, well, what about food? So great question. <laughs> On the backpack, I attached um, this little insulated lunch tote. This is from Skip Hop. This is my daughter's because it's got a unicorn. <laughs> um, and um, there's just one thing that I, I did pack and I forgot to put back in here to show you, and that was a bib. But um, let me just open it up for you so you can see what I did bring. Um, it's a pretty roomy open little lunch tote. Um, but inside I had formula because my son drinks formula. So um, this isn't all that I brought, but I had um, these two Medela breast pump storage containers filled with formula. They hold eight ounces worth of formula in each of these. Um, so that's two bottles ish worth for him. And they, they dump out really easy into a bottle. So I like those. Um, and I had a bunch of these Similac on the go pouches that I got as like samples. So I figured since he's 10 months, I kind of need to use these up or we're going to be done with formula soon. So um, I ended up bringing all the ones I had. And I just have one left now. So I was happy about that. Then in the main compartment, like I said, I brought a bib, one of those Tommy Tippy plasticky bibs with like the little, I call it a trough at the bottom of the pouch thing at the bottom. And that rolls up really easy. And I tucked that in here. It's totally fit. I just forgot to throw it in. One sippy cup. These are the best sippy cups because they're so cheap, 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 cheap. Um, I brought one extra bottle with me. Um, so one was being used and one in the dishwasher. Um, but I had another bottle full with formula in my purse for the road trip. So just in case you needed something. And then I brought three food pouches with me. Um, so I only have two, but um, I brought these just in case. Um, William definitely eats table food and will definitely be jealous of the food on your plate if he sees you eating. So the food pouches are more like the emergency stash. And so I only used um, one of the three, but I brought them anyway, just in case. And that is everything I brought um, for him. Um, obviously, no, didn't even bring a pack and play because there's one up there. Uh, brought a high chair. We brought a high chair uh, because it don't have a high chair that fits William yet. The, it's the big one. So he would just scooch right on out. And baby monitor. Didn't bring a baby monitor. They have one up there. But it would have easily fit in the, uh, in the backpack. It would have been easy to fit in there. Not a big deal. We have small baby monitors. Anyway, that is all he needed. All, any other diaper related things I have in my diaper bag. Um, and yeah, he was good to go. So answer to the question, does the skip hop form a backpack work as an overnight bag? I would say yes, it works as an overnight suitcase for a baby. Um, you would still need a second purse or diaper bag for your own stuff. Although probably could fit, probably could fit like your wallet and cell phone, um, in that main front pouch. I didn't have to bring shoes and didn't have to bring a toy. And the shoes probably could have fit. Those two things would have definitely fit in the main compartment. So if you personally don't don't carry a lot of stuff, then yes, you could also use the backpack as your your like purse type thing. But um, I am not like that. So <laughs> I would need a second purse. But anyway, I hope that is helpful. Again, if you haven't seen my other two Skip Hop Forma backpack reviews, then you can check them out in the links down below or any of my other diaper bag purse videos. I've got a whole lot of them actually now that I think about it. Um, but you can check those out down below. And I want to know, are you a minimalist packer when you go on vacation or are you more of a overpacker, bring everything but the kitchen sink kind of packer? I used to be an overpacker. Now I'm an underpacker. <laughs> I would definitely underpack. Um, minimalist pack is probably the nicer word, but I underpack sometimes. <laughs> but I would love to hear that. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you have any other questions or have a question and I can try an experiment and figure it out for you. I'd uh, love to hear those. Uh, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!